Good afternoon, this is John Shushman with Range Tracks. We're out here at Chateau Alon on a nice Saturday afternoon testing our golf ball tracking software. Um, hitting a few balls out here in the range. Our chief technical officer is going to be here in a minute to explain exactly what we're doing. All right, hi everyone. I'm Micah Fedke, CTO for Range Tracks. Uh, I'm going to show you our setup here. It's really quite simple. We just have a normal camera tripod and we've got an L bracket of aluminum across that that holds our two cameras. These are simple USB 2 webcams. Uh, they're not the strongest, but they're enough to, to see a ball uh, from a chip shot. Um, those cameras are connected directly to a laptop here that's going to do the processing for uh, the triangulation on each shot. Let's take a closer look at that laptop. Okay, um, I'm going to give you a breakdown here of what we've got on the computer. This is going to get a little technical. Uh, but this will show you the insides of, of how we do what we do. Um, first thing to note here is we've got the video stream from both of the cameras, left and right. Uh, these video streams are going to be overlaid with a green line when the cameras have successfully tracked the ball. They're going to show as much of the path of the flight as they can. Um, when both cameras have tracked a flight path and there are sections that overlap, then we can take that overlapping section and we can triangulate. That's what this third window at the bottom is showing here. This is a 3D view. You can see I can move it around here. And it's showing uh, the trace of the ball in three dimensions uh, to show that we have captured this flight path. Uh, on here, these two blue icons represent the two cameras. Lighter blue is left, darker blue is right. We've got a green ground plane here. It's just an estimate for right now as we haven't uh, 3D mapped this golf range yet. But uh, we'll get to that one day. Uh, yellow dots show the uh, actual captured 3D points. Uh, it's sensor data. It's not perfectly accurate, but it's more than good enough to work with. Um, you can see here I've got an orange line overlaid, which is sort of a guess at uh, the rest of the flight path of the ball um, as it would come down. There are sections of the flight path that we did not get to image, and so we have to fill those in with a guess. Um, that's going to get more robust in the future, but it's already doing pretty well. Um, you can see as John is hitting balls here that uh, they're updating on the 3D view. This is, of course, just engineering data. This is not what the final user will see, but this proves that, uh, that the tracking is up and working. Um, I can move around. I can show this, uh, this path. You can see the yellow dots that were captured, and you can see the orange estimated dots of the flight path, and that will give us the distance to the ground, and it will give us the maximum height. Um, just to jump into some of the uh, more detailed data here, um, you can see on the last trace that we did, uh, we've got the ball tracked down to the inch. You can see that one started out at uh, 180 inches, about 15 feet away from the camera where uh, John is standing hitting balls right now, and it flew out to about uh, 370 inches. It's about 30 feet out. Uh, maximum range for these webcams is 40 feet if we're lucky on a clear day. Um, our next step is to upgrade the camera technology and get more range from our cameras. Um, so that's the software system overview. Uh, I'm going to throw it back to John. He's going to kind of describe the golfer's experience, how we're going to use this data to provide something useful to the average range goer. I hope you didn't have too much trouble understanding what Micah just said. So I'm going to help you out here. What we're going to do is at the range, you're going to be able to hit a ball. You're going to be able to watch it track with your eye. You're going to be able to turn and look at the screen and you're going to see the actual flight on the screen. If you have any questions about where it's going, it's going to show you your ball speed, it's going to show you your angle, it's going to show you your distance, it's going to show you your proximity from the target. What that's going to allow you to do is take it, that information home, see exactly where your shots are going and see where you need to improve. This, all this information is also going to translate into gaming, where you're going to be able to play with other, all your friends in the same bay, along the range, or in other parts of the world who also have the system. We hope you liked exactly what you saw, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at Range Tracks. That's Range Tracks with an X at gmail.com. Thanks so much. Have a good one.